Welcome back. Now let us look into wrapping up our lesson. Remember our concept map was structured in the following way. We looked into the principles of insurance. Remember we have four principles of insurance. Your principle of indemnity, security, utmost good faith and insurable interest. Then we looked into the advantages of insurance to say what are the advantages of insurance to a business? They transfer the risk to the insurance company and the transfer of risk is subjected to terms and conditions. Then we looked into the meaning of insurable and non-insurable risks. So that as a business owner one day you should know what type of risks can be covered and what type of risks cannot be covered. Then we also looked into compulsory insurance to say what do we mean by compulsory insurance. This is insurance that is required by law and it is legal. it is a legal obligation for a business to have one because a business has workers who might need such an insurance. Then we also looked into now the differences between compulsory and non-compulsory insurance to say non-compulsory is voluntarily a business has a choice not to take one. Then when we look into types now of uh, uh, compulsory, remember we have road accident fund, we have compensation for occupational injuries and disease and we also have your unemployment insurance fund and we also talked about your unemployment insurance fund as a compulsory insurance and the new words and language for this lesson as we recap was the term insurer which refers to the company that will take over the specified risk should it happen and then we also have the insured which is the individual and businesses that take out the insurance coverage then we also have the term compensate which is to compensate or repay the insured in an event of loss or damage then and we also have the term risk, which is the possibility of loss or damage that the insured may suffer. Then we also have the term premium, which is the payment made by the insured to be covered in an event of loss or damage that has happened. Then, common errors. These are the common errors when we looked into this lesson. The common errors is that many learners confuse the principles of insurance with the concepts of insurance. One thing you should know, principles of insurance, we have four principles, but then when we look into concepts of insurance, we have five uh, uh, concepts of insurance. Then as we proceed with your oh, common errors, learners provide unclear sentences when responding to a question on the principle of utmost good faith and insurable interest. So you should look into that practice so that you provide much better or clearer responses. And learners confuse the types of benefits it's paid by UIF with the types of leave. So be careful to say here we are talking about the benefits. We are not talking about types of leaves. So consider that as uh, you prepare yourself with this topic. Now, a challenging question that I would offer to you now is that explain the differences between compulsory insurance and non-compulsory because with that understanding, you are in a better position to understand everything under your insurance, especially principles of insurance and insurance concepts. So with that being said, hoping we gave you more and more knowledge on insurance and hoping you'll be a better businessman and take the right insurances for the right aspects of your business so that your assets can be protected. So that with that being said, thank you for watching and keep on being a shining star. Thank you.